Are you on the hunt for a platform where you can dive into thousands of tech courses and get a solid grip on web development? If yes, Pluralsight might just be your go-to. But here is the big question. Is Pluralsight worth it? And what is this platform really about? My name is Daniel and today I have got a Pluralsight review for you. I'm going to cover what it's all about, its main features, pros and cons, and pricing. And as usual, I will let you know if I think it's worth using today. And now let's get into it. What is Plural Site? Alright, let me start with a quick overview of the platform. What is it about and what does it offer? Well, guys, currently this platform is a pretty big player in the online educational world, especially for professionals looking to upskill. Plural Site got its start back in 2004 founded by Aaron Scannard and a team of tech professionals. But today they have 2500 expert authors and over 7000 courses. So what does Pluralsight focus on? Well, they are all about providing top-notch training in technology skills specifically. All courses here are designed by tech professionals. And I mean, these instructors know their stuff and can bring their own expertise and teaching style to the table. Pluralsight is all about giving you the tools to boost your career. How? Well, they have got a ton on demand video courses, projects you can dive into and assessments to test your skills. And like I said, they have a solid course library here. That's why guys, you might be into coding, design or cybersecurity. No matter what it is, they have something for you. And I have to say, it's not just about watching videos. They have got skill assessments, labs for hands-on practice and prep courses for certifications. In a nutshell, Pluralsight is a place for leveling up your skills and getting ready to tackle new career opportunities. Pluralsight Content Ok, so let's take a closer look at what kind of content Pluralsight offers. Courses and paths Currently, Pluralsight is one of the top players on the market when it comes to keeping things fresh. They are always updating their courses to make sure you are learning the latest and most relevant skills. Right now, they have got you covered with six categories to choose from. Software development, data and machine learning, IT ops, security, cloud and business professional. But Pluralsight doesn't just stop at individual courses. They also offer something called PASS. Paths are designed to cater to your current knowledge level. They are carefully crafted sequences of about 3 to 15 courses. And they cover everything you need to know about a particular skill or topic. By the end of a path, you will have plenty of skills and tools under your belt to kickstart or boost your career in that area. Skill Assessments Skill assessments are basically tests to analyze your skills. But they do something more. Unlike standard tests, Pluralsight goes further by suggesting courses based on your results. So if you are unsure where to start, just take the skill assessment test. I mean it's free, so why not? Labs Labs is a new addition to Pluralsight that lets you practice specific skills in pre-configured cloud environment. It's perfect for beginners, because you don't have to worry about setting everything up yourself. They give you step-by-step -step instructions with applied credentials. So you can dive right in and start learning. Honestly, it's one of the best ways to put what you are learning into practice. What's great about labs is that you can get heads-on experience before you start working on real projects. Flow Flow is like having a digital project manager that keeps tabs on your team's work progress. It gives you a clear picture of how things are moving along. If any issues come up during work, Flow helps to bring them to light so they can be addressed quickly. It's a handy tool to have for smoother teamwork and project management. Podcasts Guys, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised to discover that Pluralsight hosts podcasts on technology topics. I like this approach and it shows they are thinking creatively to engage their users. Their podcasts on becoming a software developer, the state of JavaScript, leadership skills in tech and much more. Since these podcasts are hosted by experienced professionals, you can trust the advice and insights they provide. Now guys, keep in mind that these are just a few main features that Pluralsight offers. In fact, there is much more to explore. Pluralsight pros and cons 
Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoyed the content I make. That's all. Alright folks, and now let's dive into the pros and cons of plural site. This platform definitely has some cool features. But there are also a few downsides to consider. Let's start with advantages. When you first explore plural site, you will be blown away by the amount of content available. There is a massive library of courses and each one of them is pretty unique. Moreover, plural site covers a wide range of disciplines making it a one-stop shop for all things tech-related. Another thing I like that the platform offers a quality learning experience for all levels of proficiency. And I mean, you can be a beginner or an experienced coder. It's not a problem. There is something for everybody. Also, I think Plural Sites instructor-led approach sets it apart. Each course is led by an expert in the field ensuring top-notch instruction. You will learn from passionate professionals like lecturers, software engineers, authors, and more. This diversity maintains a consistent learning experience, making it easy to follow along and absorb the material. Next, Pluralsight offers more than videos. They help us for skill mastery and certifications for completing tasks. And there are also skill role IQ tests to assess your skills and readiness for specific roles. Labs provide hands-on practice, showing Pluralsight understands diverse learning needs. Alright, and now let me tell you about things that I think could be improved. I notice Plural Sites website can be a bit complicated, especially for beginners. It's not clear where to start and some pages may not work properly. This can make the learning process difficult, while advanced users might navigate it fine. Beginners might struggle. But the good news is, if you encounter issues, you can always reach out the Plural Site support for help. Another thing to note about Plural Site is that the teaching can vary from course to course. This is because each instructor brings their own style and level of detail. While Plural Site aims for a professional and standardized format, it's natural to find differences in how topics are covered. So, if you prefer a very consistent and standardized lessons, you might notice variations in teaching styles across courses. Plural Site Pricing Plural Site offers a pricing model that's a little bit more complex than you usually see on other learning platforms. First of all, there are three types of pricing plans. Skills is for those who want to expand their skills and knowledge. With Plural Site skills, you get access to thousands of courses, skill assessments, and learning paths. This plan includes two subscription options – Standard and Premium. And of course, you can choose a monthly or annual subscription here – Flow. Now it's more for teams and organizations. Plural Site Flow helps teams work better together by optimizing their workflow. There are two subscription options here – Core and Plus. Cloud Guru. This is a plan for leveling up your cloud skills. This plan offers four subscription options – Personal Basic, Personal Plus, Business Basic and Business Plus. You can also choose a monthly or annual subscription here. Also, the skills plan offers a free trial where you will get 10 days and 200 minutes of viewing. So, you can explore the platform free of charge before you decide to commit. Is Plural Site worth it? Alright, my friends, and finally, it's time to answer the big question. Should you invest your time and money in Plural Site subscription? Guys, I think Plural Site is a pretty solid choice, and it's worth your time and money. It has a great collection of up to date courses to learn the latest technologies, and all instructors here are industry experts. That's why you are learning from the best in the field. Alright, my friends, and that's all about my Plural Site review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time!